the level of vandalism has changed quite significantly since, first of all, the community got involved. They're, they seem to watch the parks a little bit more, but most, most definitely, the more that we've improved the parks, the more that we brought it back to a people place, the more the, uh, the people came to these institutions and areas, the less vandalism there was. It's quite conceivable that certainly savings in terms of reduced vandalism, greater pride in the environment, stewardship by the public who do everything from pick up the litter that might be left along a trail or in a natural area, reduction in undertaking mowing or other uh, routine operations, will save in the long term money. Once the projects knit together, the trees coalesce, the canopy provides the required shade, and we get a complete coverage of ground forbs on the ground, one can expect long term maintenance savings. This has been the most exciting thing I've been involved in in my life, and it's, it's partly because it is so holistic. If we have people with the project who who see, who feel in their heart that what they should be doing is working with the natural environment and bringing it to the children and the families in this neighborhood, then we try everything we can to make that possible for them. The site's successful because of the community. Nature has done a lot for the site on its own, but it wouldn't be here if it weren't for a lot of diligent workers and people who wanted to keep it in the community and worked and worked and worked. Uh, despite all odds, despite hearing a lot of no, 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 and we won't and we can't, um, to look for an avenue that would say what could be done and trying to keep it for the future generations. I think it's uh, understood that uh, naturalized landscapes are low maintenance and therefore low cost landscapes. Uh, people understand that naturalized landscapes are very popular with the public. Uh, very compatible with passive forms of recreation like bird watching, hiking, uh, cycling, rollerblading. Uh, and I think people too have uh, come to the realization that naturalization is really green infrastructure that is as vital to our, our urban areas as hard infrastructure, uh, things like sewers and roads and telecommunications and so on. This is something that everybody can do. Uh, gardening is an enormous issue for everyone these days, it seems. So changing the way you maintain your own landscape is the first step to, to participating in this, this movement of putting nature back into cities. Uh, in other ways, uh, communities can get involved by give, phoning us and contacting us directly and being involved with planting events and community restoration events. They can also contact uh, local nature groups and outdoor groups and get involved with restoration projects. If you'd like to get involved or initiate a community project, check out our website at www.evergreen.ca or call us at 416-596-1495.